Today I'm going to talk about Kelly Rowland, about her solo career, about her success. People always questioning her success and her solo career. For some reasons, people never want to give her the flowers that she deserves. Because she had some good moments in the industry, she also had some bad moments. What comes in your mind when you think about Kelly Rowland? Most people will answer the question with she was a member of Destiny's Child, she's a good friend of Beyonce. Other people will answer the question with I love her looks, she looks good, she's a beautiful woman or she's a good representation for dark skinned women. Of course, her core fan base will say I love her music, I love her performances, she is a great performer, she is a great and talented singer and that's why Kelly is a really gifted singer not just as a member from Destiny's Child but also as a solo artist. Come Coming from a group like Destiny's Child, it's clear that people are gonna focus more on one person that's the lead singer. Beyonce was and still is really really talented. From the jump of Kelly's solo career, people started to compare her to Beyonce. But most people was not expecting that Kelly can become a number one Grammy winning solo artist. She had her first solo success with Nelly, Dilemma became a worldwide hit and that was the start of Kelly's solo career. She released her first solo album Simply Deep with the singer Stole, Can't Nobody, Train or Track. Her first solo album sold over 4 million records worldwide. The single Stole became another international hit in her career. Can't Nobody did very well outside of America. After the release of her first album, she started to tour worldwide in Europe, Australia, South America and the tour was really successful but for some reasons Matthew never liked Kelly to perform in North America. She never had a date in North America. That would have have been perfect for her to promote the album over there but for some reasons he never allowed her to do that. In 2003 it was announced that Kelly was acting in the movie Freddy against Jason. In 2007, Kelly came back with a second album, Miss Kelly. That album had also some hit singles like Work, Like This, and fan favorites like Ghetto, Come Back, Every Thought Is You, Still In Love With My Ex. The structure of the album could be a little bit different, but overall it was a great album. She started to promote the album everywhere, in Europe, in Australia, in Africa, and in the US. It was reported that she sold more than 2 million records worldwide with this album, which was less than with a previous album. But this time around the marketing was more based to the US market. In 2007 she did her first North American tour. She was also invited to headline a lot of festivals in Europe. At that time she signed a huge brand deal with Nike. In 2009 it was reported that Columbia dropped Kelly Rowland. They stopped believing in her. She had solo success on her own but Beyonce was at that time so huge that they decided to let her go. During that time Kelly decided decided to leave Matthew Knowles management company because he focused more on Beyonce and her solo career. So Kelly moved to London to live over there. She realized people all around the world are loving her music, her music is charting everywhere except in America. Also they were giving her huge platforms to headline festivals all over the world in Italy and Spain and Germany and France and UK and Australia, even in Africa. But for some reason the US was never seen seeing her. And that was before when Love takes over, before Commander. After she met the hit producer or DJ David Guetta, they recorded the song when Love takes over. At that time, David Guetta was not the David Guetta that we know today. Kelly put him on the map. He was known in the underground scene, but the mainstream didn't know David Guetta. The song became one of Kelly's biggest hits to date and sold more than 6 million records worldwide. And that made it interesting for some labels in the US. That the reason why they wanted to sign her again. In 2010 it was announced that Kelly signed a huge record deal with Universal Motown Records. In 2011 she released the third album Here I Am. The album had hit singles like Motivation, Lay On Me, Commander, I'm Down For Whatever. Like with her previous albums, some singles were just released in the US and some singles were just released for Europe. At that time Kelly became also a judge on the hit show X Factor UK. So she did her best to promote the record everywhere and during that time she had some big performances like on the BET awards, she had a huge performance in Germany, she had a huge performance in UK 
but it was difficult for her to promote that album and be at the same time a judge on the X Factor version UK. After the X Factor was over, she was an opening act for Chris Brown's fame tour. She also toured in Australia. In 2013, she released her fourth and till this day final album, Talk A Good Game. It charted on the Billboard charts at number four and had the hit single Kisses Down Low and Dirty Laundry. Fans loved that album, but compared to her other work, it sold the least amount of records. She promoted the album mostly in the US and did a co-headline tour with The Dream, The Lights Out Tour. After that, Kelly disappeared for a long time from the music industry. She was focusing more on TV appearances, on movies, on series, being a coach on different competition shows and creating businesses outside of the music industry. She focused more on her family. In interviews, she was always talking about music, but it took years for her to release some songs in form of her EP. In 2019, she released the EP The Kelly Rowland Edition with three songs and in 2021, she released another EP with six songs. But it sounded just like she was experimenting. Till this day, people are waiting for a full Kelly Rowland album. It's almost over 11 years now. Last year, it was announced that eligible all of her albums are ready to receive a RIAA certification in the US. Simply Deep sold over 2 million records records in the US alone. Miss Kelly sold over 1 million records in the US alone. Here I Am sold over 500,000 units in the US alone. And Talk A Good Game sold also over 500,000 units in the US alone. Which means that Simply Deep is double platinum, Miss Kelly is platinum, Here I Am and Talk A Good Game are gold. Eligible Motivation is now 4 time platinum, Kisses Down Low is now 2 time platinum, Commander is now gold in the US and Like This is almost double platinum. And those are just some of the singles. Kelly Rowland sold in her solo career over 40 million records and the numbers are still climbing up. I think she had a very successful solo career even though a lot of people are questioning her career. I think she had great success but at the same time I also think that a lot of things in her career was mishandled and till this day I think there are some points she need to correct. First of all, I always feel like she never gave us everything that she got. I want the era where Kelly Rowland is winning completely, especially when it comes to a talent, when it comes to music, when it comes to performances, when it comes to promotion, when it comes to touring. She need to realize who she is, what she's bringing to the table and I know she has self-confidence, but the same confidence she need to put on her catalog when it comes to music. Often she still relies too much on the Destiny's Child songs. And I think it's okay to say now it's my time. I'm not gonna perform the Destiny's Child songs. I want people to see what I got, who I am. Because the problem with her is that a lot of people still not know who she really is, what she's bringing to the table. She need to expose her catalog, her music, the hard work that she put in into that music more to the people. She had songs that she never performed before, but fans want to see more of those songs. Since the beginning of her solo career, till this day she still performs the Destiny's Child medley all the time and it, it's time for her to take a risk to take that medley or that those songs out because she has enough hits she don't need the medley. I always ask myself why recording so much new music when you never perform that when you always still perform the old songs it doesn't make sense at all that's something she need to work on. For some reason, over the years, she never had a great team. Her team never created opportunities for her that she needed to promote her album, to go on tour. It's important for her to create a live crowd, to be able to headline one day shows, to headline arenas. The last tour that Kelly did was with The Dream. It was a co-headline tour. I did not even understand why they did that tour. Kelly was bigger than The Dream. Most people who came to the tour came to see Kelly and he ended the tour, which was a little bit confusing for me. Also, the tour was unprepared. It was not a good tour at all. From the outfit to the set list, to the singing, to the dancing, it was all out of place. Recently, I saw some performances of her. After a long time, she's 
stepped to the stage and performed. And I can say you can see so much improvement, so much improvement. That's the type of show that you need to do. And a lot of people was commenting and were surprised that she can perform like that. People were saying if she stay on that route and she goes on tour, I want to see her. And to see people saying stuff like I never considered to go to her concerts, but if she perform like that, I need to see her. That shows that she's moving to the right direction. If I would be a member of her team, I would create a master plan. Let's create a great show with great music, with songs that she never performed before, giving the fans something that they will not expect on that tour. A full experience like a movie on stage. Let's go on tour, make her the headliner of the tour. The shows will take place just in theaters. But before an artist like her go on tour, she need to hype the fans up before she even announced that she want to go on tour. She need to create a lot of content to remind people who she really is. In this day and age, it's totally possible. Remember the old AOL sessions? She need to do something like that. Find a great location, decorate it great, then hire a good band and then perform her own songs. Songs that she never performed before, songs that she performed in a long time. Some songs she can sing unplugged, some songs she can perform with dancers with a great choreo. She need to perform like it's the last time on stage. She need to perform like she's going crazy. Change the arrangement, make it bigger, make it better. Doing some outfit changes. If you have six or seven songs that you perform on that day, you can upload every week one performance. That is something that hypes fans. I always say if Hollywood don't give you the possibilities to showcase yourself, to expose yourself out there, your greatness out there, then create your own platforms because we live in the golden era. Look at Candy Burst from Escape. She always creates new new platforms. She, what I love about Candy is she never waits. She always creates something new. The internet is an open door. It can change your career, your life forever when you use it right. Especially when you have so much subscribers, so many followers. Why not using it properly? At the same time, she can create her own podcast with maybe five or ten episodes because I know people loved Coffee with Kelly and they will enjoy it. She just need the right structure. That's the biggest problem. She needs structure. So let us say she records something like an AOL sessions with eight or nine songs and she give us consistently every week one performance. Then she had maybe her podcast that she pre-recorded already and she give us every two weeks a podcast where she's talking about her music career, where she's talking about things she never talked before, about family, about relationships, about anything. At the same time, she used the platforms to use the episodes to promote herself her music her albums her upcoming tour after doing those type of virtual performances after doing something like a podcast it makes sense to say okay i'm going on tour that's my first tour that i'm gonna headline it's been i don't know maybe 15 years i've headlined my own tour so this time this is gonna be big go on promotion tour promote it and then show the people who you are prove them who you are not the Kelly from it's really important for her to come to a place in her career where she can show who she really is as a solo artist we all love her but we all know that she just not arrived she's not where she should be and i'm not talking about comparing her to anyone else but when it comes to kelly's career everybody is like oh she's talented she's sweet but she could be more and there's room for improvement when it comes to a team when it comes to the promotion when it comes to touring when it comes to structure seeing her headline the show in London proved me that she can she can do this thing she, she she's ready after the tour the plan should be to release a full album with great lyrical content one of the best albums that she ever released I would do everything possible to make it create one of the greatest albums of all time when you think of greatest albums you think of Marvin Gaye what's going on you think of Michael Jackson after all you think of Janet Jackson control over the nation I feel like like Kelly has good music but I always think we never saw her in her prime and that's what everybody want from her you know what I mean like everybody knows that there's something in her that is fire but someone or something need to activate that fire why she put the album together I would love her to do a little documentary with five episodes each episode 20 minutes to upload that on YouTube because fans love to see that that's one of the reasons
reasons why we love making the band to see how they are putting their albums together or watching old MTV footage where bands or acts are in the studio and recording their album. We don't have that in this era anymore so you have to create it on your own and that's a great way to promote yourself out there. After the release of the album I would go again on tour. The plan would be to create a live crowd that will become bigger and bigger to perform one day in arenas and that's totally possible watch escape they came back in 2017 in their prime time they never headlined their own tour why they were charting with understanding just kicking it do you want to who can i run to little secret they never was able to headline their, their own tour in 2017 they came back with a good team with a good promoter and they did arenas arenas and all of the arenas were sold out another example is the independent rapper Ross. He does arena tours with 20,000 people. He's not signed. He built his fan base through the internet. He doing bigger things than people who are number one on the billboard charts. And Kelly has a catalog. When you think of Lay On Me, Like This, Ice, Kisses Down Low, Motivation, Coffee, Dilemma and much more songs. She's able to create a great show. I still believe that she is able to get to the level where she can headline arena tours. But she need to wake up. She need to wake up. She need to put structure on her team, on her businesses, on her goals. The last performance made people realize she is great and she could do greater and bigger things she need to use that momentum she need to use that fire that she has right now and need to develop it she need to take it to the next level i don't think it's right to continue with the Destiny's child songs don't get me wrong Destiny's child is great but she did that almost over 20 years that she need to shake up she need to do something different something need to be done different i don't want to hear the Destiny's child song especially not from her she always talks about risks take that risk she is good but she is not great it's easy for her to become something great but she need to take the right decisions that's what i'm saying i hope you liked the video when yes leave me a thumb up subscribe to the channel to not miss any other videos and if you want to know more about kelly's career then click to the next video